that was a good bite. It's back on. There it is. Yeah. That was fast. Fish on, baby. First <laughs> one. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm out here with Logan and Mike. Logan's got his own YouTube channel, Fat Belly Fishing. Go check him out. I'll leave the link in the description down below. We're fishing with live shrimp today. We were at the other spot earlier uh, this morning. Caught a little sheep's head and uh, Mike caught a flounder, smaller flounder, and he lost something big. But uh, we're at our second spot now, catching snook. Hopefully we get onto some more. World record saltwater catfish right here, Michael. Don't do so. I'm that's hoping. Big, that's a big snook, Mike. It would it'd crack me I up. I saw the boil. Yeah. GoPro it. started it, recording. It feels decent. My drag's kind of loose. I uh, forgot to turn the camera on for you guys, but uh, Michael has a good snook on right now. He's pretty decent. Me filming him, filming him. That's the TV drag right there. Yeah. <laughs> Had it. Loose as, Television drag. Loose as possible for his snook. All right. On the live shrimp. There she is. There she is. Good job, Mike. Later pop on the flip. I'll be pissed. Ah, I got up. Nice. I think this snook was inside of whatever snook you just hooked. I think that's what it was, brother. He was pulling too much drag. Nom. <laughs> I stabbed myself in the hand with the dorsal thing. Oh, another. Let's go. Two? A twofer, I guess. Don't turn the cameras off. They're hot, baby. They're hot. He's all right. Bro, I stabbed myself in the finger with that little thing. Oh, he's a little, oh, he's a little he's bit bigger. bigger. A little bit. He looks a little bit bigger oh, in yeah. the water. Beauty. Should I flip him? Yeah, do the flip. Why not? One big motion. One big motion. I don't want to break my rod. Not okay. doing it. Not doing it, boys. <laughs> he did the leader flip. That's still a good one. Pretty decent. Just a wee little. I think Mike Snook's got me beat right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there laughing. This is Mike Snook. Flip <laughs> her up. Just, just that easy, kids. I'm just gonna let her go. She kind of had a little rough. There's the line. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. <laughs> She's good though. So what I'm doing is I'm just casting that shrimp right next to the, the seawall and just letting it swim naturally. We're not using any weights. So just free lining with 20 pound leader, 10 pound braid. Mike. I think I might have the TV drag on Michael had <laughs> incoming coming across your guys' lines. Oh yeah. Or maybe it is a little better. I can't tell. Is it a snook? He's not jumping. I don't know. My drag's kind of loose, but he feels a little heavier. He's staying down, dude. Yeah, could be a red. Looks like a trout. What is it? Snook. It is a snook. Just a little bit. Slightly enhanced. He's staying down for some reason. A thicker fish. A little thicker. Yep. I like them thick ladies. Okay, that one a lot better That's a nice than one. the last one. It's a cool little guy. Good job, Logan. Remember you're filming too. Oh yeah. I got, I, got, I got the snook like in the GoPro's face. Me filming him, filming my snook, filming him. I'll just stare at him. But yeah, cool little snook here. Top corner of the mouth, right where you want to hook him. He stayed down, little frisky guy. Probably like what, 23 inches or so? What do you think, honey? Yeah. yeah. About that, these guys are really cool because this lateral line acts as a uh, like a vibration that they can pick up the little bait fish on. That's how they locate them. Ow! He said I'm done. He wants to bite my finger. Mike's on again. All right, is this TV drag or is this real drag, Mike? Which drag. which drag are we on today? Tony, your bait just got boiled on. What's that? Tony's bait just got boiled on. Oh, Tony's getting eaten yeah. too. A one. double, the oh double boy. Sammy. That's a good one. He's staying down. Oh yeah, a little better, a little better. Here she comes. There she goes again. Here oh yeah. Goes. Is he a fat? Is he a fat is belly? He a fat snook? belly snook? <laughs> he looks good, Mike. Oh, get him! 
a little bit better. That's a good, that's a good one, Mike. They're getting better, aren't they? Is he a fat belly snook? <laughs> kind of looks like a skinny belly. He's like in the middle of a diet. He's in off season. Yeah. That's a longer that's snook. Yeah. Awesome. I told you Mike's the Slayer. He's Mike a real slayer. slayer. He's a secret Slayer. DJ Cali. That's a sheep's head. That's a sheep's head? Yeah. What? Just when you think you got this guy figured out, he throws in a curveball. Well, a fish ball. How did you end up catching him? We were snook fishing, Mike. I know. It's the weirdest looking snook I ever did see. Nom, nom, nom. Tell your friends, be warned. So Logan's got to go. He's got to go home to uh, edit some videos, right? Yep. Yeah, I got tired of watching him and Michael catch fish, <laughs> so I can only take so much. <laughs> We're going to keep fishing. We're going to go to a different spot, and we'll go in from there. It's good fishing with you, brother. Thanks, brother. Until next time. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was a good fish. That was a good mango. It came off, though. Oh, my gosh, guys. You took it. You took it. You took it. You took it. There it is. What is that? Oh, a big old sheep's head came up for it, but the, the little snapper got it first. You know what? It's been a minute since I've caught a uh, mangrove snapper. He's a little guy, though. Pretty cool. See ya. There it is. Oh, that's a good one. Snapper, boys. No way. Is that a keeper? That might be a keeper, boys. That might be a keeper mangrove. They gotta be 10 inches. He's, I don't know, he's small. He might be nine and a half. If you gotta measure him, just let him go. He's probably nine and a half. See ya, dude. What's up, guys? We are at a new spot now. It's been a while since I've fished at this spot. <laughs> it's been probably a couple years. And I don't know, I was driving around and this spot came to my mind. So we're here and there are some mangrove snapper here and I think there's some snook along the seawall here too but I have not tried for the snook yet. I saw a sheep's head came up for the shrimp earlier but a little mangrove snapper got it first. So hopefully we get onto some sheep's head and anything else that bites. Another little guy. I usually don't catch mangrove snapper in the winter time. It's always like late fall and these guys are really good eating. He, he's a little too small. You don't want to get a ticket so always let those little guys go. They got to be at least 10 inches and you're allowed to keep four per person I believe. Four or five. I believe it's four per person. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, there's so many like rules and regulations of what fish you can catch, uh, of what fish you can keep and what you can't. Oh. <laughs> Little dinker, man. Come on. The other one I caught earlier was pretty decent, but it's probably a uh, eight inch right there. This is strange. I got a dead shrimp on right now at the end of the line and the mangrove snapper don't want anything to do with it. You would think that they hit live shrimp, I mean you would think that they hit uh, dead shrimp too but nope, I guess they keyed in on that live bait. No bites on the dead shrimp. That's really strange. Look at this guys. Dead shrimp, it's probably dead for like a few hours. Let's, talk, let's toss them out and put a live one on. Let's see how this one goes. We're gonna hook this guy underneath the horn so he stays alive. Like so. Look at him kicking. Let's send it. That one's gonna get eaten. And I know they're still there. They gotta be there still. They're so picky sometimes, man. You know? But you gotta feed them what they like. Oh, took. Gone. Let's hope we get a keeper mangrove snapper. I wouldn't mind a, a snapper sandwich. A blackened mangrove snapper sandwich. There it is. Dinker, man. Another dink. Schoolies. Look at him. He's like, let me go. He's so grumpy. They call him Snapper for a reason. Look at him. Just snapping. So don't put your finger near its mouth. Because if you get snapped by one of these, especially ones bigger than him, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> I 
I got snapped by uh, an eight incher and I was bleeding on my index finger. There it is. Man, this guy hit. Look at him, he's full of energy. I guess the school moved a little bit further out because I wasn't getting any bites near the, uh, the ledge there. At the edge of that rock, this guy hit way out there. I guess the school had moved a little bit further out, probably like five to 10 feet out. See ya. <laughs> Dinker Mango again, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have not checked out Fat Belly Fishing's channel, I'll leave the link in the description box down below so you can check them out. Oh my gosh, a snook just popped right there. I'm gonna have to throw a shrimp out there right when I'm doing an outro. But anyways, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week.